Welcome to a new week of the vlog, everybody. So we are working on part two of gutting the rear half of the BMW. So today I'm gonna be working on getting rid of the headrests, this whole back piece, and then I'm gonna get into the trunk, probably remove the factory amp and sub, maybe those two rear speakers. And then I'm gonna try to work at trying to get rid of uh, some of the sound dampening that's in the middle there, um, kind of look at some of the wiring stuff and see what's going on with it. And I'm gonna take it over to the car wash, give it a nice, good clean on this back half, and then um, probably just take it for a cruise and see what kind of progress we've made, see if it's helped or see if it's affected anything in the car. Um, I really wanna invest into a limited slip diff in the future, this welded diff, you know, it's it works, it's good. Um, it does what I need it to, but it's just not overall the best if I could get a limited slip. But I also wanna let you guys know, I probably will not be posting video see this will be going up friday two days before christmas i will not be posting in between christmas and new year's so i'll have a week off just to try to plan something good with the holidays and all the family stuff happening so other than that let's get into this i'm just gonna start peeling sound dampening off the sides i'm not using this stuff ever again like i said so i'm just tearing it out getting rid of it once it's gone i don't gotta worry about it there's more looking a little cleaner stuff like this it's this nice hard stuff i will have to get rid of that using dry ice so that's a big future project but i want to tackle these back rear trim pieces and this speaker jumping the fish ice you guys can see a little better this foam has been in this car i mean way too long this stuff is gross peeling pulling getting rid of that stuff um probably gonna get rid of as much of this bottom stuff too that i get rid of let's see it's all wiring stuck under that so i might just tear this into chunks and get more out of here not a lot of room back here to get these speakers out so i'm going to try what i can I'm never taking anything out like speaker related in a BMW. So I'm gonna kind of knock at these, probably just play how to get this one out and then I'll show you guys how to get this one out. Well, boys and girls and everyone, I figured out how to get this thing out. This thing is huge, right? Well, there's more weight to be added. So popped off the speaker grill and you get access to, Let's see if I can get, get in here for you. You get access to Phillip head Phillip head right there and Phillip head right there. And then there's a clip on this left side and it just pops out. Just make sure you unplug that. And that drops the speaker out the bottom. Even if I wanted to keep these speakers in, I would want to replace them. Um, these things are way past blown. The whole car rattles every time I even introduce radio noise. So those are just gonna be gone. Open holes, let's keep gutting. All right guys, so I got the speakers out. Got a little bit of trim removed right there. Got these rear trim pieces removed. I'm just gonna have to like zip tie some of these wires. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Um, I can't figure out how to get the headrest out. Uh, honestly, it's uh, very weird on how they're uh, secured in there. So I'm just going to probably head to the car wash now, uh, vacuum this entire car and try to throw away whatever I can with all that stuff. All right, guys, so I'm headed to the car wash now to uh, start getting rid of that some of that stuff. But the big thing is, if I go to the car wash and the trash cans are full, I'm not going to just stuff this in there. I'm only going to do it if they got light, you know, clean trash cans. And I'm also going to be vacuuming for quite a while, giving them a good amount of money. So don't just go throw a bunch of stuff at the car wash. You know, they spend a lot of money to try to keep car washes clean and work good for us. So we just always got to make sure we respect that. But... I'm gonna probably throw you guys up on my windshield mount again and then get over there. I might try to see if I can just use that to film the back because uh, tripod down, can't find my small one. Um, so that thing might be our uh, best bet. So I will get you guys back on when I'm over there. Sorry guys, I just jumped right into it. But what are we thinking? It's, it's coming close, it's coming, you know, it's coming clean. Uh, I'm gonna have to remove this airbag thing sensor and uh, pull that out and then i'll start using dry ice to start getting all that hard stuff but i mean it's fairly clean now i just i gotta figure out how to get those freaking headrests off but it's looking good so far 
Alright, so you guys got to be able to see me. I've got fisheye on. So I'm just going to take you guys on a little cruise right now. I mean, we have removed, probably with the speakers, some of that extra sound dampening and whatnot. I'm going to say probably just, you know, 130 pounds total. Um, I can still get rid of the jack and like the uh, lug wrench and everything. But honestly, the biggest thing I'm feeling so far is every time I go around a sharp corner, initially once I got the, uh, the diff welded, you know, every corner just felt awful. The, you know, the gears trying to get both wheels to spin at the same time just did not feel healthy at all. And I know it's not ne necessarily healthy, but with all this weight gone over that rear axles or over the rear axles, uh, a big thing I am noticing now is the differential doesn't feel like it is killing itself nearly as much as it was. So listen around this corner. Almost can't hear anything. I just feel like the, the load the load that was on the rear diff is now gone to an extent and it's just making the gearing a lot healthier. And the car honestly feels like it has a little bit more get up and go to it just from that little weight reduction stuff. But I'm gonna try to find one corner. I've figured out kind of the best way to get this car to slide, even though it is very underpowered, but I figured it out and I'm gonna try to get a corner to show you guys. Trying to find a spot in uh, broad daylight on a Monday where apparently everyone's home from work. It's been a, it's, it's kind of tough. So I might just try to see if I can send just some random quick corner for you guys. Cause so far it's not being so hot. I mean like all the spots that I can find would be good at, you know, 12 o'clock at night, but there's just too many people out right now, so I'm still hunting. Might end up having to just try to send a burnout or something, but we might we might be in some luck. Give me a second. So I'm just gonna pray that tonight when I go do some shopping, I can find something because uh, there's just too many people walking, dogs, building houses, driving, this, that, riding bikes. It's it's a busy, busy day, and I don't want to, you know, endanger anybody. So uh, I'm gonna hopefully find something later tonight, and if not, I'm maybe before friday this week uh we'll just we'll just see how it goes um but hopefully you guys are enjoying this uh gut series so far um just stay tuned for crazy videos but other than that i will uh, either catch you guys in a little bit or catch you guys for next week's video peace